another video if you're new welcome if you're not new welcome back so happy to have you guys again today we have a clean and motivation and also I'm gonna be showing you guys a new product I'm gonna be using in this video I hope you guys like it I definitely fell in love with it it's so handy and I can't wait to show you guys and I hope you guys are ready and we're gonna get started this day is so beautiful and I'm loving it I'm loving the breeze I'm loving the sunshine and it's nice I'm here with all my kids yeah i'm just ready to get this motivation going so we are gonna get started here we go all right guys so we are gonna get started with these toys there are too many toys in this ottoman and i want to go through it and try to declutter it as much as possible i'm gonna go through these toys and see what toys may be broken or no good i'm gonna be tossing them and also any little tiny toys i see i'm gonna be putting them in some plastic bins just to get them a little more organized and just looking way better because this looks just super crazy and i definitely have to get it fixed above all just look a lot better we're gonna be doing that and don't mind me if my voice just sounds a little cracky my allergies are just ruining me guys my allergies are acting up and i'm just so congested but we are gonna continue we are gonna get this done and we're gonna get through this video guys here we go enjoy while i declutter this ottoman and just get rid of this craziness going to be sharing a product that i've received from a company that i fell in love with guys so i'm going to be sharing it with you it's awesome it really comes in handy so i'm going to be talking about it later on in this video and showing you guys what i got As you can see, I took out the bins, the plastic bins I'm going to be using. And you see all these little toys thrown in there. So I'm going to be grabbing all these little toys and put in these bins to make it a lot more organized. Definitely happy that I'm finally getting through this because it was driving me insane. So now we're just vacuuming the ottoman, getting it nice and clean, so then we can go ahead and put the toys back in here. Alright, so we're just tossing those toys right back in there, the toys that can go in there. It does look a lot better at the end, totally worth it.
just getting these bins together guys getting them together putting them nice and neatly away well as neat as i can put them away and getting these bins together There are some markings I need to get off of the wall, so I'm just using this miracle sponge and I'm gonna be taking all the marks off of the wall. They're on the wall and also on the floor. So we're gonna get through this, get these walls and also the floor nice and clean. to the other wall as you can see i tried to show it a little bit kind of hard to see but there were some marks on there some crown marks so i'm gonna scrub it in and getting these walls cleaned as well <music> this floor guys my one-year-old took a crown from my oldest her backpack was on the floor and he got in there going crazy on the floor with some crowns so we're just cleaning that up i try not to leave crowns laying around just because of this but it happens and they're pretty persistent when they're little we're just getting it cleaned up no problema no problem we're gonna get it cleaned up and it's gonna be nice and looking new guys so here it is this company is called high life and this is a portable garment steamer it's very simple right when i opened it i was like wow this thing is amazing it's so simple you just open it up on the top you pour the water you plug it in you press the start button and you're ready to go it does come with the little brushes this is good for garments fabrics and anything you just need it to straighten out as you can see i'm doing it on the curtain the curtain is just a little wrinkled and i just want to show you guys an example of how it works so i'm just going to be using this curtain and you will see how it straightens and also i'm going to be using a shirt that i'm planning to wear this weekend we're going to see how great it really is so the water tank holds up to 240 ml heats up within seconds you can use it with any fabrics including bedding curtains and clothing so easy to use and store and it has a automatic turn off feature that makes it safe to use really does the job and you see how small it is for it being so small it works really great and it's just easy like i've said before i like easy and efficient so this was really great to use and i'm gonna tell you a little secret i do not like ironing guys i don't like ironing of course i do it but it's not my favorite thing to do also with the iron you can mess things up it leaves stains on the shirts sometimes especially these type of materials so this is so easy to use and so much safer for your clothes and all types of delicate fabrics <laughs> Also, if you're traveling or going away for a wedding or you're out for business and you need something to take with you that is going to straighten out your clothes, this is it, guys. This portable garment steamer by High Life is awesome. 
definitely have to check it out it's on amazon i'm gonna leave the link below and also you could check out the ratings the ratings are really good as well and you can see for yourself it works great beautiful guys beautiful all right guys so now we're moving into the bathroom i'm just moving this towel i do have the curtain washing i had to put something there just to cover up this big window and you know we didn't want to be showing our goodies now i'm gonna be getting this bathtub cleaned and i'm just using barkeeper's friend to clean the tub and all around the tub and also we are going to be cleaning the window but before that we're scrubbing now the bathtub and i just let the powder sit for just a few seconds because we wanted to get in there and get it nice and clean we moved into scrubbing and after this we're gonna move to the walls and the windows so to the wall to the windows here we go So now we're using my steamer. We're getting this window nice and clean. There's just a lot of dirt, maybe mildew up in here. So we're, we're getting this clean and we're getting in there, guys. We're getting in there. You're going to see the result, how nice and clean this turns out. all that dirt crazy we do have a tree out back as well and it kind of hangs a little over the house like the branches do does kind of get on the window like the leaves and just makes it a lot dirtier not a problem because we gonna get it clean and you will see in a moment how clean we really get it funny how the story goes little hope but bigger dreams down singing louder than the crowd using the steamer you see like all the dirt come out so easily guys dirt comes right off without having to scrub so hard it's amazing clean the window because it is pretty dirty as well so i'm just wiping it down and then we're moving on so my bathtub usually gets clogged pretty easily so with everything that i was doing it got clogged no worries we're gonna plunge it out and get it cleaned now moving to the walls we're just scrubbing the walls getting the walls nice and clean i'm using the clorox spray that just works best for me it actually you know gets in there and if there is any mildew i feel like clorox is the best to just get it out but obviously we know these products are pretty 
strong so I always open a window and ensure the air circulates and I'm not getting killed with these chemicals <laughs> but they definitely do the job and like I said I like quick and efficient <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, but uh, you look so fine, riding shotgun in my car, top down when driving on the highway, the wind in our hair makes us look like movie stars, and you make me sing, yeah, oh, you make me sing, yeah, oh, you make me sing, yeah, I'm just refilling my Febreze. The thing literally works so good. It's like a double Febreze plug-in. So I usually use the Gain scent, which smells great. Either the Gain or Downy one. They both smell really good. So there were just some spots on the door that I wanted to get rid of. The door had these little splotches, I don't know. It could have been from me doing my hair last time and sometimes the dye or the toner gets on the door. So I just had to go through and just wash it up. And now I'm moving on to the bottom of the bathtub using Clorox again. I let it sit for a bit and then I go in and just start scrubbing, getting any type of mold or anything that needs to come out, just getting it out. Doing what you can to have a good time. But baby when I'm with you, I have the time of my life. All right guys, now the toilet is getting pretty bad underneath, so I want to cover it up with some caulking and I think that's what it's called or caulk what whatever whatever this is called with this and also using the towel and just spreading it out I'm also going to get in back of the toilet because it's really like yellow and messed up I did wipe it down and I let it dry for a bit and then I'm going to go in with this it does look so much better after I do it I was so happy to see it way better Now I'm just going in and spreading the caulking, um, but it's a bad angle because my bathroom is so small, guys. So sorry about that. I'm just letting y'all know that I'm just going in with this and just getting the walls. So you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it, and it is looking way better. Already memories. Now I just don't really care what you feel, what you feel, what you feel. Now to finish off the bathroom, I'm just cleaning up the toilet really quickly, cleaning the toilet bowl, and just gonna clean around the toilet, give it a nice clean touch. So I'm just going through with a disinfectant wipe and going around the toilet to clean it, and it's pretty much almost done. Au revoir. We are done, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you back next video for more cleaning motivation, guys. Thank you.